say this is some quite cool SH1T. John Nielsen, the man who developed the XJ220, one of the lead development drivers who won Le Mans for Jaguar in 1990 and who set the 746 the car did almost 20 years to the day, is sitting in an XJ220 right in front of me. Um, and we're about to go and do a lap together and I'm in the latest XKRS. They have an identical power out but 550 PS, so uh, in British money, 530 something. Um, the only thing is, this is 400 kilograms heavier and he's really handy. Um, oh, look at the back of that car. Unbelievable stuff. It's just enormous, absolutely enormous. Big thanks to John Law and Justin Law who lent the car for these purposes. You know, it's, um, it's pretty special stuff. Pretty special stuff. There she goes on the boot. Bloody hell, when he puts his foot down, it disappears. He's got better traction than I have, there's no doubt about that. Proper stuff. He hasn't been here for 20 years and look at the way he's driving. Brilliant. Not much in it when we're absolutely flat through here. We're doing 240 k's. How big are that boy's bollocks? Flames coming out. Take a bit out of him here because we've got ABS and stuff. Seven forty-six, and I reckon the circuit was actually a little bit quicker back then, or a bit slower back then, because they've just taken a bit of grade off it in places. It's a bit smoother in places. Oh, it just disappears. Oh, flames! <laughs> He's got it crossed up. Tell you what, this man—he is some boy. Rear lockup, rear lockup, flames! Oh god! Wow! That was a real privilege to watch. The first time he's been here in 20 years and he's just driven that like that. What a hero. <laughs> 